disease, lack of our body functioning the way it's supposed to. We hear that word, we think the worst. And yet, how many of us know one of the things that is at the core, the root of how our body gets to that place where it evokes, that word evokes fear to us. We're going to be talking about what's called the subluxation tonight. We're going to talk about it, but we're going to talk about how it is that this simple thing of a safety pin helps us understand the presence of it and how it works. And ultimately, how we get set up to hear about those different disease processes. Now, I love the fact that, you know, we get to come together, we get to have these conversations and talk about really, really complex topics. And in this case, we're going to talk about how every single part of your body is run by your nervous system. And it's amazing how it runs and how well it runs when, in fact, things are connected the way they're supposed to. Let's remember your nervous system was the very first part of your, your body to be formed. That nervous system of ours commanded absolutely everything else inside your body to form. Your heart, your lungs, the liver, the muscles of your back, your immune system. It was all formed and it is all run by your nervous system. It's Gray's Anatomy that goes through the process of talking about embryology and about the creation of this body and talking about how your central nervous system is the master system of the body and how in the end it creates signals and information at 100% of how your body is supposed to receive it. Now, sadly, there is a state that we know as disease, a lack of ease within our body. And I love when we get to start talking about, you know, how, you know, disease is in a lack of optimal mental, physical, and social well-being, and not merely an absence of disease or infirmity. How it's your body not working at 100% of how it was designed to function. And let's realize something. That means that there has to be a disconnect between your brain that can only produce a signal at 100% of the way it's supposed to be received and the tissues and the organs that are supposed to be receiving it. Now, I love the safety pin. If you come in my office, you're going to find you know, probably a half a dozen larger safety pins. You're going to find a whole bunch of smaller safety pins around. I recognize the importance of it. Because before there was Google, and before there was the Encyclopedia Britannica, long time ago, in having communication with patients, chiropractors came to understand that, you know, they needed something simple and something tangible for, to help people understand the complexity of their body. And as it was, the safety pin was that particular tool, that particular instrument that helped people understand how, you know, like the top here demonstrating the brain of the body and the bottom demonstrating the body itself, the tissues, the organs, the system, how your brain would create a signal. It would send that signal down through your spinal cord, out to spinal nerves to get to the different parts of the body. And in fact, that's not where the story ended because the body had to take that signal, use it, and then send the signal back to the central nervous system, back to the brain, so it knew exactly what to do next. And I love that. Because in the end, as long as that communication process was complete, this circle of life just continued to flow. It continued to, to, con to share the information from brain to body and back to the brain again. And if you think about how important it is, you know, if you're reaching for a ball, for a baseball as it's coming towards your face, 
hey, listen, you want your brain to continue to move your hand in the position where it's not only between, well, the ball and your face, but also closes just in time to capture that ball inside the mitt. It doesn't happen by chance. It happens because your brain is constantly getting that feedback of where everything is in time and space. Multiple systems all coming together, operating exactly the way they're supposed to in order to perform that one act. And if you imagine, if your body's not working the way it's supposed to, what failure looks like. Well, unfortunately, when we are subluxated, when those bones come out of place, when we have that disconnect, that's exactly what happens. Failure occurs. Maybe it's not you eating a baseball, getting hit right in the middle of the face with a baseball. Maybe it's the fact that you've taken in this piece of meat or these vegetables and you're not getting the proper amount of proteins or bases, enzymes in order to break those nutrients down properly. Maybe it's the fact that those, those foods have hit your, your intestinal tract and they're not being assimilated or the nutrients absorbed out of them the way they're supposed to. Maybe your body isn't eliminating that food, resulting in constipation. Or maybe it's eliminating it way too fast and you experiencing diarrhea. I think we can all agree that that's not a really great thing, either one of those. And yet we know that if in fact we have this lack of connection, our body's never gonna work exactly the way it's supposed to. So as a chiropractor, our job is so simple. In finding these subluxations, it's then to fix them and leave it alone. See, what we know is when man gets involved in things, oftentimes puts his finger into stuff and, well, he just continues to mess around with things. And in turn creates even more problems for himself. As a chiropractor, our job is very simple. Find that subluxation, put it back, and walk away. Because this perfect system of yours knows exactly what to do. I love the fact that here in the office, we get to use muscle testing every single day. And this is a great demonstration for, for many new patients to help them understand this very simple concept. When there is that lack of stress within the system, that muscle strength is going to be super incredible. It is going to be so strong. As soon as that, there is that tiny bit of interference, failure is imminent. I love the fact that it only takes the pressure of one or two fingers to break that contraction and the arm just simply falls to the ground. It's not okay. It's not okay because it means that your body is performing at less than 100%. And I don't know anybody out there that desires for their body to work at 75 or 60% of its capacity. I know I don't. I expect and I desire for my body to work at that optimal level to ensure that I can do all the things that I absolutely love to do. And maybe you tonight, this is the very first time that you got to hear the safety pin cycle. You got to hear the story of how that safety pin answers questions of how it is that my, my nervous system controls my immune system, or my digestive tract, or my reproductive organs. Maybe you've heard this story again for the third, fourth, or fifth time. I don't know. I love the simplicity of this safety pin cycle. In its simplicity, the truth that it holds is unwavering. The remarkable thing is that there's so many people out there that they don't know the truth of how their body functions, how it works, how the, the, the body actually does what it's supposed to do. How many of us can't just simply share this process of the safety pin cycle? 
And I would encourage you to share this information with others. Because there's others out there that, unlike you, don't know what you know about chiropractic. They certainly don't know what you know about what that safety pin represents. And yet, I realize one thing. We don't know how far reaching the gift of this knowledge and this information is going to help somebody else. Unlock them from the downward spiral that they're in. The bad choices that they're making. We know what those poor decision making that choices end up being. It happens to be the leading cause of death in the United States. According to Dr. According to uh, Keeney. We realize that a lack of wisdom, a lack of knowledge leads to those bad decisions that lead to an early demise. And that's not okay. Every day is a gift. Every day should be that joy. And my ask of you is quite simple. To share this information. Share this information so that others are capable of understanding. And just like you have, just simply test the system. Understand how is their body performing. Are they walking around with subluxations that are creating this breakdown, this lack of communication? That's one of the great things that chiropractic helps people understand, is how is their body functioning. My ask of you is simple. Like you're supposed to as a chiropractic patient at the Limber Chiropractic Center, not only like this video, leave me a comment. What was your takeaway from tonight? But then finally share this. Share this so that others can learn just like you know now. As always, I'm Dr. Baker from the Limerick Chiropractic Center.